Good morning. You know, there's no doubt about it. Last week, our viewers were wild for our home day show. We are going to keep the momentum going with Sharon Gret from Benjamin Moore, everyone. Hello. How are you doing, Sharon? Now, there's some. <laughs> <laughs> to your little craft, little room, craft here. room There's one person in particular in our audience who says she's got a space completely gutted, waiting to go, and she wants it to be a craft room. You oh, are going to be her good. inspiration Excellent. right now with this segment. Well, this is inspiration for myself, too, because I would love to have this room. <laughs> be nice, right? <laughs> it would be. You know, you want a place where you can just do all your wrapping, because even if you're not overly crafty, I think right. it's a place for all the wrapping paper to be instead of in your guest room, which is where mine ends up being. But it's about, it can be multifunctional. Maybe it's an office slash craft room. Yeah. Um, so you want to have somewhere you can hang everything, where you can see everything. And so with the help of Ikea and some fabulous Benjamin Moore colors, I put this set together. Little inspired first, I have to say, by the Calyx pink unit. Oh, and okay. you know, I love when I see pieces of furniture in color because it's rare. I'm usually telling people to paint it, mm -hmm. but if not, this was already in this really nice soft pink. And I thought, you know what, that's really nice and fresh. And I think I could work a really fun palette around that. So Beautiful. the neat thing with this is the units are separate too. You can get the um, individual compartments if you want, drawers or a section to cover. But I put sandwiched the two together, which you can probably only see from the side. Yeah. And then left some open long so we can put the wrapping paper. Nice. And then have covered so you can organize your magazine magazines and your books and that sort of thing. And then I just, this is the DIY portion, it just made an MDF tabletop, really simple, um, 40 inches by 40 inches, and then I used um, Ben in semi-gloss paint. Mm -hmm. So in this really beautiful trout gray, which kind of ties in with the whole overall theme. So again, it's semi-gloss so that you can do, it's very durable, and you can spread everything out, you can do some drawing, some artwork, that sort of thing on it. This is perfect. Most of us are doing our wrapping or our crafts on a bed. Yes. You know, or on the easy. dining room table. <laughs> exactly. So this makes a lot of sense. I love the color palette. I never get sick of gray and pink gray together. And pink. There's Isn't something very beautiful? soft and calming about it. It is. And it was kind of, I was thinking, I was partly inspired by my husband's garage for this project, which might sound a bit crazy. Is it gray and it's and not pink? gray and pink. Okay. Just oh, he's going to kill me now. But it, <laughs> it is gray. It is gray. But I use the silver gray, which has this more pretty blue ah, undertone. So right. it's a silver gray. But the idea of in, in his garage, he's got slat walls, so everything's hanging up, and he's very organized, unlike his wife. So everything's <laughs> in its place. So I thought pegboard is easier for me to get my head around. So I picked up some head, um, some pegboard, painted it again with the same color. Yeah. Um, I used an eggshell in Ben, and the same thing for the wall color. So it's sort of consistent. But why put the pegboard all the way up the wall when you're my height? Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to hang things. But again, if it was an office space, having the shelves and an area to put your magazines or have your office files as well up high. Right. And the kids can also use this area if you let them in your craft room, which, you know, it depends. They it would go, be. they would love this. <laughs> they would love it. I mean, my they? daughter would love this. Exactly. Access to the glue and the glitter, are you kidding me? And exactly. And you That's give her a little good stool Saturday. and she'll be in there and she'll be on here and my daughter Megan will be with her. So <laughs> they'll be happy. So again, all these cool little Ikea knickknacks that you can hang on the wall with the pegboard and then you can store all of your, uh, all your pens and pencils and markers and art supplies. And the thing I love about pegboard is again, you've got a place to hang all those little things that you're always running around looking for, like the, the measuring tape. tape. Yes. So I think that was a great idea. Now the other thing with a craft room and an office is having a cork board. So I thought that's a really fun um, little accent. And of course you can paint the cork as well, mm -hmm. but I wanted to save the paint portion for the chalkboard. So with the chalkboard, oops, I forgot to leave my chalk out. No chalk. <laughs> well, we kind of know how you, it works. We know how it works. What's but it cool, can also look great when it's clean, right? It's just an accent color. It looks beautiful clean. Uh, I think it's cool that the chalkboard paint comes in so many different colors Exactly. Now. You can tint it to absolutely any color in the palette. And this yeah. color is peony. Which oh, is a so really pretty. pretty bright fuchsia color, so I really like that. So I love the inspirational pieces that you have up on the board as well. This is why the, the bulletin board, the cork board, is such an important part. A lot of people trying to get organized now, getting back to school, back to work, that becomes a crucial part very, of your organization, doesn't very it? Very important. I think it's critical. And I think that you have somewhere, for me anyway, I like to have everything visual and, and pinned up. Yeah. And when you have some brighter colors, this was actually a really neat thing I picked up at Staples. It already has the elastics, and I know it's a great do-it-yourself oh, nice. project, but I thought, wow, it's already on there, it's really colorful, and it just kind of adds another area where you can just slide some, maybe more of your important pieces right there, right. upcoming. So again, for color inspiration, um, I look, Benjamin Moore just put out a new card, a new color card, a Ben color card, and there's some really fun, bright, oops, I just pinned, pinned one of them up here. I love these, but I wanted I to show you the color books, palette. Though, because you always have the color palette, but then you have all of the rooms uh, that give you some inspiration as exactly. to how you might use the colors. Exactly, so it's I wanted great. to use some of those bright colors for this set. 
Well, I love that you always are trying to inspire us by bringing us some goodies for the audience. So we want to help you with your decorating project. Sharon's brought gift certificates for a gallon of uh, Benjamin Moore paint. for your chance to win Benjamin Moore Natura paint to prime you for a paint makeover. Always lots of great prizes online. You always got to check out cityline.ca frequently.